Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the Jenkins installation on Windows machine. How to you how to install the Jenkins Jenkins. So these things we are going to learn. But before that, we are going to learn something like basic things about the Jenkins. What is Jenkins exactly? So your Jenkins is an open source automation automation of the server, which it helps to automate the part of the software development related of the building, testing. Develop, deploying, facilitating, continuous integration and continuous delivery. So that is why mainly your Jenkins is use, using. Jenkins is very very crucial part for whenever we are doing the automation or whenever we are doing the any development of the of your software. That time Jenkins plays very crucial roles over there. So it is a server based system that runs in servlet contained containers such as Apache Tomcat. So whenever we are running running our jenkins so that jenkins is completely based on your uh, your server now now we are going to learn how to how to download the jenkins but before that we are going to learn how to how to download this jenkins okay so let me open that website and let me uh, type jenkins download for windows and we will get the first suggestions uh, by the google which is named as a www.jenkins.io file so i need to click over here once i click over here you can see guys this is the first page you can you can see over here now out of this which version we need to download like here you can see we have the two options first one is a stable and second one is a regular releases so whenever you wanted to do some kind of testing or some kind of like any work uh, which is related to weekly releases you need to download these things but where you wanted you wanted to use just like you wanted to run your test cases in the CI/CD pipeline so what you must need to use a stable version for that so this is the stable versions we have so you need to so this is the stable versions we have just i wanted to tell you very very important things whenever you wanted to install jenkins before that you must need to install java first and and whatever java you install that 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 part it will automatically picking up by jenkins but the first criteria is you have to install java on your machine so this is the uh, stable version i am taking up over here now here you can see i am scrolling down this this is the this this is your left side this is left side is related to completely what guys uh, your uh, stable versions and this right side is completely related to your weekly versions so here you can see you can also download this dot war file and you need to run that things from the command line but here i am just using that that dot txt file here you can see this windows and here i just need to click on this windows options once i click on this windows option here you can see the downloading is automatically happen i already download this uh, jenkins.msi file on my machine so i am not i am cancelling this as of now so i just need to go to the my like download files here you can see and here you can see guys i already downloaded this jenkins.msi file so this is a install uh, installer installer for the windows so i need to double click on this jenkins files once i double click here you can see welcome window you can see over here here i just need to click on this next button once i click on this next button here you can see this path is automatically picking up like this jenkins will be installed in c program files and jenkins separate folder will create it now here i need to click on this next button now once i click on the next button here you can see this window you can see here i am just i am just using this uh, run services as a local system so i don't uh, i i don't want to use like uh, i don't want to insert the account and password so this is just in test and environment purpose i'm using so this is the run service as a local system this options i'm i'm selecting over here and then i need to click on this next button once i click on the next button here you can see 8080 port you can see over here so your jenkins is uh, automatically like by default is running will will run on the 8080 port so here i can select this test port so it means everything will okay you will get a blue tick mark so so here everything will okay and i need to click on this next button once i click on this next button here you can see i told you important thing like uh, before installing jenkins you have to install java on your machine so here you can see i have a java jdk 11 by default install on my machine so this is this path java path will automatically picking up now here i just need to click on this next button once i click on this next button this window will you can see over here and here again i need to click on this next button and once this is done i just need to click on this install button so installation is automatically happening over here and guys here you can see uh, probably it will take some time uh, it's completely vary for uh, from 
different different uh, machines but here you can see it is installing quickly so let's wait for a couple of seconds so uh, yeah here you can see my jenkins is installation is successfully now what i need to do guys i need to open the jenkins on the local host and i need to run this local host on 8080 port so uh, as we already selected on the whenever we are running this uh, jenkins whenever we are installing this jenkins i i already inserted the 8080 port over there so here you can see local host colon 8080 so this port i am inserting over here and once this is done here you can see guys what will happen now it will take some time for configuration here you can see uh, it will take some time it is it is uh, still um, it is loading so probably once you are done with this installation probably it will take some time uh, it could be a chances it will take some time for 5 minutes 10 minutes as well but uh, but just wait unless and until it will not ready and here you can see my Jenkins is uh, almost ready to work. Now here you can see this is finally my Jenkins is uh, like uh, is ready to work. Now what I need to do guys, I need to search the first of all uh, like this this uh, password I need to administrator password I need to insert over here. But before that, where should I need to find out that uh, uh, administrator password? So here you can see uh, at the path. It is already provided over here in the C drive program file Jenkins dot Jenkins folder secret folder and here initial admin password file you can see over here. I am just copying this path and I am just opening this part like I am just opening this Windows machines and here I am directly pasting this machine so like uh, pasting that path over here and I am just pasting this enter over here. Now here you can see once I am done I will get an options which which like this file. Uh, which which extension I need to open so here I'm just selecting this notepad only and once I'm done over there here you can see uh, This path is automatically like this this uh, key. I can see over here Okay, as I told you you can directly copy this path and you can directly open this initial admin password file If you could not able to open then what you need to do guys You just need to navigate this this folder path like C drive program files this path you need to navigate so this is the C drive and here you can see guys program data we have this folder we have so this is the probably this will be the hidden folder for you program data and here you can see Jenkins folder you can see over here once this is done here you can see guys dot Jenkins folder you can see over here uh, once you are done with opening this file here secret folder you will have and inside this secret folder here you can see guys initial admin password so here you can right click over here and you can open this path uh, in in other like any any one of the uh, dot dot uh, txt file so this is you can see this is the uh, admin password path you need to copy once this is done i need to paste this part over here once i'm done with this guys here you can see admin password is happening over here the path is like uh, this is setup is automatically happened now customize Jenkins now here I need to select the this install suggested plugin so whatever useful plugins we have those are those plugins are automatically installed over here so here I just need to click on this these things guys this on and you can see guys this is installation is automatically happened now this installation is completely vary guys again this time frame is completely vary from one machine to another machine guys probably it will take some time for uh, different different machines so no need to worry like if it is uh, probably on some machines it will take it will be finished within five minutes some machines will take around 20 30 40 minutes it's completely depend on your laptop or computer performance guys okay here you can see guys uh, my jenkins is like sir, all plugins are successfully like here you can see uh, are installed over here now what i need to do guys i need to create the particular username password i need to set over here so as of now i'm just selecting particular username like this is the admin also i'm selecting the same password admin here also i'm selecting the same confirming the password admin full name also i'm giving the full name like admin and here email address i'm just giving guys uh, like uh, like whatever email id i have ganesh20215 at the rate gmail.com so this is this is uh, email id i'm giving over here and once this is done i just simply click on this save and continue button once i'm clicking on here guys you can see this jenkins url like uh, your jenkins will automatically uh, running on this 
port URL. This is the URL also you can see over here. And here I need to click on again save and finish. Once this is done, now your Jenkins is completely ready for use. So here I am just need to click on this start using Jenkins button. And once this is done, here you can see setup wizard probably will open over here. Now let's wait for a couple of seconds like uh, your dashboard will create it and this is you can see guys your dashboard is completely created over here now this is how the Jenkins is look like now here what I need to do I need to check like we will check here whether our Jenkins is properly installed or not so for that what I need to do guys uh, I just need to click on this new or term so our new job will be created here I'm just giving the any name like uh, demo test one this name I'm giving over here and which project I'm creating so freestyle project I'm creating and here I need to click on this ok button ok once this is done what I need to do guys here you can see setup wizard probably will open now I need to I need to wait for a couple of seconds for setting up the wizard now here you can see demo test job is uh, open over here it is loading okay now here you can see guys this, this has happened now what I need to do this these are the multiple options we have now here the build options we have now here we are selecting executed window bash command so this is like this is and like whenever my job will run uh, this this command should run on the windows so which command i am just checking java hyphen hyphen version command i'm running once this is done what i'm doing guys i'm just uh, saving this job like whenever i'm running i will run this job this command will run now i wanted to run my job so what i need to do guys i just need to click on this build now once i'm done with this thing here you can see my build will run over here so once I'm done here you can see my my job is running started running over here. So this is the progress we have and here you can see the status of this job is successfully passed over here. Once I once my job is successfully passed I can check the logs of, of, of my job whether like what 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 is exactly happened like is it running successfully what are the logs are happen over here. So here so for that what I need to do guys I just need to click on this uh, I just need to click on here on this job here i need to click over here guys once this is done here you can see console output you can see over here and on that console op uh, output i selected that that build like uh build option i selected and that build option and i selected over there okay, whenever i'm running my command whenever i'm running this job this command should run so here you can see java hyphen hyphen version command is running and the version of the java like 11 version is automatically installed on my machine so this is how you can see guys that version also successfully we will get over here this is the console log you can see so view as a plain text so again you wanted to like plain text if you wanted to see your uh, see your logs that time also you can you can see these options so this is how basically we can install we can download install and and we can uh, run create the jobs of the jenkins and we can run the jobs so this is thing i wanted to tell you guys that's it for today thanks for watching this video if you really like please hit the like button and uh, click on that subscribe channel thanks guys thanks thank you